If you wanna get snatched and put your body in a fat burning state first thing in the morning, here are four things you can do. Red flag! What does fat burning state even mean? And why are you talking about it like it's a button you can just press to turn on? You know what? Just watch till the end and I'll explain it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Adam. I've been a personal trainer for almost 10 years and I'm here to bust the myths and the lies that the diet industry is trying to tell you. Roll the tape! So first thing in the morning, you're gonna do your stomach vacuums. You wanna do this on an empty stomach. Stomach vacuums are simply a pose. <sighs> A bodybuilding pose that looks great on stage, but it's a colossal waste of time if you're not prepping for a bikini competition. I don't care how pretty or fit the person telling you to do them is, stomach vacuums are not gonna make your waist any smaller. It's a fancy term for sucking in your tummy, and if that worked, we'd all have six packs. Next is you wanna stay fasted. I have my favorite fat burning tea first thing in the morning, and it just gives me that energy and helps with my appetite. Are y'all still skipping breakfast? You realize that that usually just causes you to overeat at lunch and dinner, right? You could literally accomplish the exact same thing just by eating smaller portions at each meal and you wouldn't have to starve yourself for two thirds of the day. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, the next thing, number three, is you wanna do some sort of waist training. This advice is so outdated. It's expired like sour milk. This video would have popped off in 2010, but we know better now. This is so powerful and so effective for just helping aligning your core. Aligning your core. Uh, ma'am? That doesn't make any sense. It's kind of like wearing Invisalign. No, it's not. It's like wearing a shirt that's too tight. Number four is you gotta move your body. Just 20, 30 minutes, even an hour a day is all you need. It took you this long to come up with a decent piece of advice? Yeah, okay, move your body, but do it because it's a form of self-care, not just because you want to get snatched, okay? That's how you ruin your relationship with exercise and why you only start doing it when you're trying to lose weight. Folks, I hate to say it, but this is exactly the kind of influencer you want to stay away from. It's peak diet culture. And the fat burning state she kept talking about, yeah, educated professionals just call that a calorie deficit or an energy deficit. And it comes from a collection of habits you do consistently over time. It's not a switch you flip by sucking in your stomach, starving your body, and physically restricting your belly. Let me remind you that it's okay to want to make some changes to increase your confidence and your energy level and improve your health. And if you need some help, reach out to me. But you don't need to have an itty bitty Barbie doll waist to be happy or healthy. Your value and worth as a person isn't measured by the size of your genes.